and I ask leave to propose a debate on a specific and important matter that should have urgent consideration under the terms of Standing Order No. 24, namely the matter of prorogation with the imminence of an exit from the European Union. I received the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman's written application. I have listened carefully to what he said on the floor of the House. I am satisfied that the matter raised is proper to be discussed under Standing Order No. 24. Has the Right Honourable and Learned Member the leave of the House? number of members standing in support of the Right Honourable Learned Gentleman. I do note the very, very loud expression of opposition from the Honourable Gentleman Member for Wellingborough is testament to the existence of more than enough support. Uh, can I just say, and I, well, whether I can or not, I'm going to. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing in these matters. So do we. And I do know the standing orders, and I do listen to the advice. Sometimes you get these pop-up characters who think they understand these matters on the basis of minimal familiarity with the said standing orders and presume to say that the rules have been broken. They are entitled to their opinions, but they suffer from the notable disadvantage of being completely wrong. I know what the rules are and what they allow, and this is absolutely in keeping with the standing orders. If there are people who don't like the subject matter and would prefer it not to be aired and judge that it's inconvenient, they're perfectly entitled to their view, but it's got nothing to do with the procedural propriety. Don't tell me, young man, from a sedentary position, what I can and can't say. If you're not interested, leave the chamber. I'm not remotely interested in your petty fogging objection chuntered inelegantly from a sedentary position. The position is as I've described it, and quite frankly, young man, you can like it or lump it. The right honourable gentleman has obtained the leave of the House. The right honourable gentleman has obtained the. I mean, the people will understand that, as far as the speaker is concerned, his job is to stand up for the rights of the legislature. I never have been, am not, and never will be in the business of being bossed around by some footling member of the executive branch. The Right Honourable Member has obtained the leave of the House. The debate will be held now as the first item of public business. And what I would say to the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman is that the debate will last for two hours and it will arise on a motion that the House has considered the specified matter set out in the Right Honourable Member's 